Hola alumnos Redbook, hoy nos toca practicar lo que aprendimos en las semanas anteriores. Do you remember? Para un verbo en el pasado, en progreso, usamos esta conjugación. The past continuous. Los verbos en past continuous normalmente son interrumpidos por... Verbos en pasado simple. Esta es la estructura de past continuous. ¿Te acuerdas? Was a word más un verbo con ing. Past simple es simple. Verbo con ed. Un ejemplo de past continuous y past simple. We were riding in the elevator when, interruption, the lights went out. ¿Te acuerdas? También vimos reflexive pronouns, los cuales se traducen de tres maneras dependiendo del contexto. Adivina la traducción. He hurt himself. Él se lastimó a sí mismo. He plays by himself. Él juega solo. Recuerda, cuando usamos un pronombre reflexivo con by, es él solo, yo solo, tú solo. Friday the 13th. Si sabes de superstición, muchos piensan que Friday the 13th is a very unlucky day. Unlucky. De mala suerte. Vamos a leer. Yesterday was Friday the 13th. Many people believe that Friday the 13th is a very unlucky day. I, myself, didn't think so. Until yesterday. Yesterday, I burned myself while I was cooking breakfast. My wife cut herself while she was opening a package. My son poked himself in the eye while he was putting on his glasses. Our daughter spilled milk all over herself while she was eating lunch. Both our children fell and hurt themselves while they were rollerblading. And we all got wet paint all over ourselves while we were sitting on a bench in the park. I'm not usually superstitious, But yesterday was a very unlucky day. So, the next time it's Friday the 13th, do yourself a favor. Take care of yourself. ¿Te acuerdas de los verbos en la lectura? Vamos a ver. Number one. He burned himself while he was cooking. Two. His daughter spilled milk. Three. His son poked himself in the eye. His children fell and hurt themselves. Five. We got wet paint all over ourselves. An accident. I saw an accident this morning while I was standing at the corner of Park Street in Central Avenue. A man in a small red sports car was driving down Park Street very fast. While he was driving, he was talking on his cell phone. At the same time, a woman in a large green pickup truck was driving along Central Avenue very slowly. While she was driving, She was drinking a cup of coffee and eating a donut. 
While the woman was driving through the intersection, the man in the sports car didn't stop at the stop sign, and he crashed into the pickup truck. The man and the woman were very upset. While they were shouting at each other, the police came. Fortunately, nobody was hurt badly. True, false, or maybe. Yo voy a leer las preguntas y puedes poner el video en pausa para contestar. Luego checamos. Number one. The accident happened at the corner of Park Street and Central Avenue. True. Number two. The man was driving a small green sports car. False. It was red. Number three. While the woman was driving, she was talking on her cell phone. False. The man was talking on his cell phone. Number four. The man likes donuts. Maybe. La historia no nos dice, pero yo... Creo que sí. ¿Quién sabe? Number five. The sports car crashed into the truck. True. Number six. The woman was driving to work. Maybe. The story doesn't tell us. Number seven. The police came after the accident. True. Eso fue todo por hoy. That is it for today. Su tarea es página 89 y 90 en su workbook. Pero si tú quieres ir más allá, yo les reto a que vayan a cazar. Cazar, no con escopeta y no por animales, sino que vean videos, tal vez una serie en Netflix, pero ponlo en inglés. Y a ver si encuentres, ahí en su hábitat natural, las palabras que aprendimos en estas semanas. Goodbye.